It's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MMEX. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past few days broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis yesterday. That's where these red and green line annotations are coming from. And not a whole lot of, of new things to report here, other than the fact that the price maintained a very important uh, support level that I talked about in yesterday's video. And that is in regards to this green line here. The key reason for that is, you know, you want to see the price make and build stair steps in the upwards direction. I'm assuming, okay, yeah, of course you want to see the price put in higher lows. And that's what that green line here is helping us monitor because if, if the price stays above it, then you look where the previous base of lows was right here and you have stair steps starting to form in the upwards direction. So sure today, it's not like the price exploded or anything like that, but taking a step back, looking at multiple days, yeah, it was good that the price was able to maintain above that green line right there. You can see the bears clearly tried to press down through it, but again, to give credit where credit's due, the bulls did a good job of maintaining that. And you certainly wanna see that level continue to hold value 0 0.0183. So 0 0.0813 still holding, and that's what you wanna see definitely going forward. As far as levels of resistance, you got that level up there at 0 0.026. Seemed a little bit more in play yesterday when the price closed you know, up there. Um, but as far as that move from the final 30 minutes, apparently there really wasn't any sort of genuine strength behind it. I say that because there is zero follow through, right? I mean, the price gapped down and then just came down here and drifted sideways. So from a very short term perspective, yeah, bearish in the sense of, you know, that move right there, there wasn't any sort of true power behind it, but still bullish in the sense of from a, a longer term point of view, the bulls are still working on building that upper stair step right there at 0 0.0183. So uh, we'll see what happens with it. One final note, volume really, really dropped off today. Uh, and while that's not a terrible thing, uh, you know, price movements need volume. And if volume gets, you know, dries up too much, then people lose interest and they just move on to other things. So not saying that's going to happen, but, you know, you always want to keep an eye on volume. And with a, a significant drop off today, it's just something to take note of. So we'll see what happens with this one tomorrow. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click that image right there and I will email you the guide. The guide is very short. It's to the point. And like I said, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.